Uh, two reasons. First of all, it's always a joy to come to Vienna and work for Vienna's English Theatre. Uh, this is my fourth play uh, out here and um, it's always been such a rewarding experience. And I nearly, would nearly have said yes before even seeing what the play was like. Um, but uh, when I read the play it was absolutely fascinating. Um, I knew Doll's House a little bit, um, so I kind of knew a, a little bit about the context, but what was really clever about the play is that you don't actually have to have seen A Doll's House in order to get the story because it's all all the plot points and everything you need to know is contained within the play anyway. Um, so I thought it was really well written, really concise and sharp, really interesting characters and, and, and potentially a really good piece of theatre. They'll be excited by it and, and I hope they'll get a sense of exhilaration from the, the journey that Nora makes through the play because you know she's left the house and then comes back for a specific reason but she has to face things when she gets to the house and when she meets the people she hasn't seen for 15 years she just doesn't get in to go and have it all her own way she gets some of that but they make her face what she's left behind and, and actually drives her on to an even greater ambition at the end of the play. Uh, so I hope the audience will find that exciting to, to engage and listen to the debate and the drama within, within the play. I think it's finding the resonances in it for uh, a current audience. Um, I've also tried to be, to be honest, tried to be truthful to the writer's intentions. I haven't tried to subvert them in any way. I wanted to kind of make a, a, a good job of putting on stage what he'd envisaged for the play. And it's written in a very specific manner. He gives you various rules on how lines should work and what the rhythms of the plays are, of the words are. And when, when you're working on the play, you realise actually if you get the rhythm and the sense really accurate if you explore that and, and where lines are cut off, where lines are run over. The also, and, and some of it's laid out in quite a poetic sense, and some of it's laid out as prose. So if you kind of explore that and, 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 and really adhere to what he's given you on the page, it actually helps you reveal the psychology of the characters and the attitude of the characters and how they relate to each other. So what seems like a, a strong set of imposing rules that he's given you in the script and that it's really written with great precision and, and economy. Um, if you adhere to that, then actually it gives you a freedom because you take those rules and then it just lets you fly once you've discovered what they are and once you've explored why, why it's written in a particular way. Well, it's a, it's a really good question. I think it's a play that will make people talk uh, because, you know, it's very much about uh, how the female characters, and Nora in particular, well, Nora especially, is, is trying to escape a kind of male-dominated society to find a sense of equality and a sense of justice in being a woman in, in, in her world. Um, but because it's a contemporary take on it, um, it actually speaks very much about everything going on now with things like the Me Too movement around the world and, 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 and people kind of having equal opportunities, uh, whether they be male or female, to make their own way in the world. Uh, so I think there's a lot of really contemporary issues come out of the play, even though it's set in you know, 15 years after the original play, so it's set just towards the end of the, um, of the 19th century, just before the turn of the century, but there's, there's lots that I think people will find really relevant, and things that they hopefully will debate coming out of, out of the play, because Nora has very strong views, and, and the other characters have some complementary and some opposing views to Nora. Uh, so I think that hopefully that debate will continue once the play is over.